What's up guys, it is Charles Ryan, welcome back to another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, we got here to the Lost Underworld, explored it quite a bit, and uh, yeah, met the talkative rock, who basically explained to us that we are the chosen one, and that we are destined to find the your eight sanctuary, like the eight your sanctuary locations, and stop Gygas with their power. Also, he told us that the eighth your sanctuary location was the Fire Spring, and as we enter this cave, we arrive at the final Your Sanctuary Location Dungeon. Welcome to the Fire Spring! And as you can guess, it's very, very strongly based around fire. Also, we have two new enemies right here. We have the Major Psychic Psycho and the Plain Old Psychic Psycho. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the Psychic Psycho... Um, I believe one of them might have a... A shield of some sort. Um... <laughs> What we will do is we'll obviously use freeze on them because they're fire, like they're fire enemies. And on the major psycho, psycho, in that case, if we're gonna do that, then we'll bash that one, freeze that one. We'll spy on that one and we'll PSI freeze the other one. So we'll see what happens. Okay, no psychic shield on that one. No psychic shield on that one. And okay, so yeah, it looks like, um. Oh, now they have psychic power shields. Good eye. Fire alpha. 64 damage. 4 damage. 4 damage. 48 damage. Okay, not too terrible. Um, uh, shoot. And freeze. These guys, these guys aren't too difficult. Oh, nope, there we... Ah, why did I do that? I saw them put up the psychic shield. Well, it's not going to do a lot of damage to Paula, but it's still going to be very painful. 76 damage, 4 damage, 3 damage, mortal damage! Alright. Paralysis, oh boy. So they are just doing everything they can to take us out. That one, first one's down. Oh my gosh, with pull on one health. Well, that was a travesty. If ever I saw one. Um, alright, I believe healing beta will get rid of the numbness. Of course it doesn't. Healing gamma, perhaps? Numbness is gone. Alright, and then... We may as well, we may as well life up Omega, just heal everyone. Oh, Pooh's not even fully healed, of course he's not. Um, and all that for a speed capsule. Um... No, Ness has still got more PSI. Beta has to fully heal him, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, speed capsule, we will give that to Ness because we just want to be... We want Ness to be as fast as possible, really, because he's the healer, so we need him as fast as he can be so he can heal people quickly. Um, is there anything... Oh, wait, no. There is something we want up this rope. Um, the Fire Spring actually can be quite a long... Oh, here we go. Another new enemy, the Evil Elemental. Um, bash. Freeze Gamma. Shoot. Actually, why am I not using the Heavy Bazooka? And freeze gamma. Hopefully these guys don't have psychic shields. They don't. They're just really, really immune to um, freeze. Good. All right, that did a bit more. That that's looking a bit better. It's attacking, 46 damage, not too bad. They possibly weak to thunder. I actually don't know what these guys are weak to, so. I am just basically going to be taking a stab in the dark and seeing what uh, what works. Alright, Thunder's doing a bit more damage here, yeah, 167. Okay, so Thunder's not too bad. I am assuming that as we are in the Fire Spring, fire would just be out of the question. Also, Paula grew a level to 76. And ooh, that's, that's a very nice level. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, we want to come up this ladder. We want to go through the cave on our right. And we have our final new enemy for the fire spring. The soul consuming flame. Yes. Um, <laughs> freeze anyone? Uh, heavy... No. I saw that diamond band. Heavy bazooka. Bash. Nice. Freeze gamma. Should pretty much kill that soul consuming flame. Oh, no. Okay. Did a fair amount of damage though. So this should take out both of them. Yes! Nice, 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 nice. Alright, so it's basically just the major Psychic Psycho and the Psychic Psychos that you want to be um, wary of. Um, I believe I read 
Oh, I heard someone talking about one time that people believe that the psychic psychos and the major psychic psychos were other supposed chosen ones who um, didn't, like, who fell at the final Your Sanctuary location, which is why they can use psychic abilities like you, and um, basically they're, they're what would happen to you if you failed in your quest at the Your Sanctuary locations, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've never really looked into it too much. It was just something I heard that I was like, oh, okay, that's a little bit interesting. But, like, I'm sure there's, like, oh, wait, there was an enemy there. Okay, I mean, I'll take the back attack. Uh, Soul Consuming Flame. Also, uh, it's really funny because when you battle the Soul Consuming Flame, it plays the Your Sanctuary boss uh, music, which is kind of funny. It's kind of cool because it, it is a pretty cool track if I if I do say so myself. Uh, freeze Gamma, although we probably don't need to use Freeze Gamma from both of them. Yeah, we really didn't need to use Freeze Gamma from both Pooh and Paula. That was a bit overkill, but meh. Eh, we'll be... She'll be right. She'll be right. Now, there are at least... Um, along with that bag of Dragonite, there are probably... I'd say... Ooh, that's not good. Um, I'd say there's at least two other items you definitely want to pick up in here. And then there is at least one more item that is of... of pretty good use to you. Um, we'll heavy bazooka the soul consuming flame to kill it, and we'll bash, oh, I wasn't going to bash the soul consuming flame, but uh, I guess we will. I was going to bash the major psych psycho, he's going to take, ah, he's still going to take a fair amount of damage. Solidified, nice, nice, smash, yes, cool, nice, 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 nice. All right, and Jeff grew to level, th <laughs> Jeff grew to level 74. God, I don't know why I'm kidding my far out. Yeah, this this place does have a lot of enemies. Like, you are probably going to be fighting enemies. Most of your time spent here is going to be spent fighting enemies. Like, it's a small area, but it's chock full of enemies, which I mean is good. I guess you get um you get a lot of level and experience before the boss, but yeah, you do get bogged down quite a bit. But ooh, 15 HP and what was that? Eight PP, I think that was pretty good. Uh, can we get to the ladder without any enemies attacking us? No, it's a back attack. Please don't be a major psychic psycho. Okay, evil on Antle. That's fine. Disrupted your senses. Ha ha, it doesn't work. Because Jeff can't use PP attacks. Yeah, that's what that disrupting your focus means. It basically means like that you can't use PP, like PSI attacks. But because Jeff doesn't use them to start with, it doesn't really matter. So ha ha, nina nina poop poop. Uh, I believe the next door, well, the only door we can access through now is door number A, which contains another two enemies. Da -da -da -da. Oh boy, it's you two. Um, let's use Rock and Gamma. Let's use Freeze. Let's shoot the Heavy Bazooka. And let's freeze the other one. Actually, who's running low on BSI? I should probably not be... Actually, no, there's a place, I think, in here that is similar to the Belch base where you can constantly um, keep restoring your PP. So, ooh, Fire Beta. That's not good. 170, 157. <laughs> I like how it does so much damage to Ness and Pooh and then Jeff and Paula are like, what? It's fine. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. No, it's not. No, it's not. Mm -mm, no, it's not. Okay. That's, mm, that's not good. That's very not good. Uh, life up. Bash, bash, bash. Just, just bash, just, just bash. God damn it, of course that would happen. Alright, we're fine. Woo! That was scary for a second. Huh. Yeah. Uh, that's the one thing I don't like when they cast the shield before, you, right before you do a psychic attack, because it's like, oh, now I'm definitely going to take a lot of damage. But we, we managed to avoid it pretty well, so that's good. Now, through here. Um, are enemies starting to run away from us? No. Okay, that was weird. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Soul Consuming Flame. Uh, you know what? Let's just freeze. No, let's freeze Gamma and then bash with everyone else. We don't need it. One freeze Gamma and one bash is enough to kill this thing, so... Yeah, this is probably the most... Yeah, I'm gonna say it's the least threatening enemy here. The, um, the evil spirit's also, you know, not very threatening, because neither of them can really do any harmful... Well, they can do harmful attacks if you let them, but it's pretty easy for them to, uh... for them to not be much problem. Also, we just picked up the Cherub's Band. I believe that's an arm band. Yep. Uh, I believe I want to give this perhaps to Paula? Help. 
Must be equipped on your arm. It increases your defense. Helps keep your body from being hypnotized. And it also increases your luck. What's Paula got? Because Ness has the pixie bracelet. Yeah, she's still got a diamond band. So, how about we give the cherub's band to... Uh, we'll give that to uh, Paula. Cherub's band. Equip. See, yeah, it jumps up a full 20 points. That's really good. So, uh, now Paula has quite a bit more defense, which is always good, because we kind of need Paula as alive as possible. Um, same fair. Freeze gamma. Shoot, bash, bash, bash. <laughs> smash, bash, 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 bash. Uh. Also, um, for those of you who are wondering about uh, grinding the ultimate weapons, we are coming up to the point where it's going to be viable to grind for them again because um, if you remember uh, I said if you grind if you began to grind for them too soon uh, you would run the risk wait do I want to go through this door what door do I want to go through um, that's the way no no I don't want to go through the store yeah um, I said uh, yeah if you tried to grind for the enemies too quickly and okay yeah that's the evil elemental there um, let's freeze Gamma the Psychic Psycho at the back, because I don't trust him, and let's just bash with everyone else, because I really don't trust that guy up the back. No particular reason, just, you know, he's killed me a bunch of times in the past. Well, he's almost killed me a bunch of times in the past. 80 damage, 4 damage, 3 damage, 65 damage. Eh, is attacking, just missed. Aw, poor you. Alright, Paula, fair enough. And there we go. Yeah, so I want to come through these doors first because this will this will take me to the uh, to essentially like the final um, really good item that we want. You can actually just see you could see the present box just up there. That's the item we are going to want to be aiming for. Um, that is a very good weapon for Jeff. I believe that holds the moonbeam gun, which is even better than the weapon we are current uh, we are currently equipped with. However, it is not his ultimate weapon. Um, like I said, that drops from the uncontrollable spheres back in Lumine Hall. Uh, it drops as the broken antenna, which then you need to repair with, I believe, 65 IQ. So um, we don't have his, we won't have his ultimate weapon just yet, but we'll have something. We'll have, still have something pretty good. It'll be equivalent to like the um, the holy frying pan or the the ultimate um, baseball bat that Ness currently has equipped. Um, oh, one more thing as well. Uh, you don't need to worry about it just yet. You will have a chance to um, organize it after you beat the next boss. Also, Magic Butterfly, much appreciated. Um, you will have a chance to sort it out after the next boss, but something you will want to do, you want to consolidate all your bags of Dragonite on Ness. Also, um, any revival items he has, like Horns of Life, Cup, uh, cup of Life Noodles, all those sort of things, uh, he doesn't need them. Um, give... Jeff. Also, yeah, there's the there's the moonbeam moonbeam gun. So his attack goes up about 12, which is pretty good. So that's good. We can get rid of the baddest beam. But yeah, um, you want to consolidate all your bags of Dragonite on Ness. You yeah, you don't want things like cup of life noodles or horns of life on him because he can't make use of them. Um, yeah. Oh wow, that's gonna be yeah one hit kill. <laughs> good job, Pooh. That Sword of Kings really is coming in handy. Also, I might just do a healing Omega on the party real quick. Because Ness's HP is looking pretty down. And Pooh's HP was looking pretty down as well. There we go. Back to full health. Um, now, I believe the door that we... Oh, hello. Oh, a back attack. Nice. Can we just get the... We can. Nice. I have no idea what enemy that was. Actually, I think that might have been a psychic psycho, judging by the the fact that I instant killed him. I think I want to I want to say that it was a uh, that it was a psychic psycho. Uh, freeze. We can use the heavy bazooka this time because it will 100% uh, kill both of you. Now, I feel like I've missed Is there something I've missed. Yes, I quickly want to go to door, what door is it? I want to go to the door that is J, because up that rope there is where the boss is. So we're essentially at the boss at this point. So I instead want to go, I want to backtrack just a little bit, 
because there is a place where you can, like I said, restore um, your PP kind of at nauseum. And yeah, I'm kind of running a little bit low on PP at the moment, so I think I'm just going to quickly go back, go back to where I can grind out some PP. And I will do that. Um, I may as well, may as well keep the recording going um, while I do this so I can have a chance to talk to you guys. That's door E. I need to go down to the next level and go to door D, out of door C, into door J. I, yes, I do have a map of this area up that I can uh, use as a point of reference because, yeah, even though, like I said, it's a small area, it's very easy to get lost in here because you're going through so many different doors and there are so many different rope ladders. You're not sure actually where you're going. So, yeah, I've just got a map next to me uh, with the doors, num like, well, not numbered, <laughs> doors uh, labeled by uh, letters. And that's how I've, yeah, been navigating through here. So... All right, I'll fight. You're not gonna... Oh, wait, he's gonna, yeah, get to poo, right? All right, I was about to say, how are you gonna attack me? I'm down here, but then I was like, oh, wait, poo, cool. Heavy bazooka. That heavy bazooka is, like, paid for itself in spades. Like, that's such a good item, because it's essentially a, super, a reusable super bomb that is never gonna run out. So it's just, like, get the heavy bazooka. Just get the heavy bazooka. It's gonna be so useful. Um, it's also gonna be really useful in the next boss, because... This is actually the first boss where you don't want to start off using your multi-bottle rockets because they can actually be kind of a pain. You know, I'm just gonna bash this. I'm just gonna bash and then when this uh, and then just bash the psychic psycho. I'm not gonna worry about using PSI attacks because I don't want him to put up a shield and also I don't want to waste any more PSI than I'm already using. So yeah, and there we go. He's already dead. But yeah. Um, you don't want to use your multi-bottle rockets on this next boss because, um, he has a very, very strong psychic, sh uh, psychic shield deflecting physical attacks and, uh, well, a multi-bottle rocket is counted as a physical attack, so you really don't want one of those being blasted back at you. Because, uh, if it can kill bosses in one hit, it's just, it just, it's just gonna kill you. It's just gonna kill you. <laughs> that is the long and the short of it. So we'll probably... What's everyone's PSI looking at? I want Paula to at least get to 200, I think. I want Paula at 200 PSI. Because... Because PSI attacks are still pretty useful on the upcoming boss, considering we are in a fire area. A, a freeze attack is going to be very useful on the fire boss. You know, go figure. <sighs> but yeah, while, while I'm doing this, may as well uh, chat to you guys a little bit. I've recently... Um, I'm playing a lot more Pokemon Sun at the moment. Ooh, okay, we got a battle. I'm playing a lot more Pokemon Sun recently, um, partially because um, Avcon, which is a anime video game convention uh, in the city that I live in, uh, is fast approaching, and this year uh, I am on staff, which is kind of cool. And as part of staff, we Avcon uh, runs every year a Pokemon Gym Leader Challenge, where basically it's eight of us, um, like eight of us on a table, uh, basically in line. Uh, actually, no, it's not eight of us. It's nine of us with a champion. So, um, yeah, we'd line up, uh, basically in order of difficulty. And the way we determine that is we all battle each other, um, once in doubles and once in singles. And then we tally up who's won the most battles and who's lost the most battles. And we basically use that i think we use like a point system and basically we use it as a hierarchy of like okay you've won the most you've lost the most you're the champion you're the starting gym leader and so we all choose type uh unfortunately this year there's only five of us as um they've stated that only staff can be gym leaders this year and volunteers are not allowed to be just because it mucks with their um shifting or something like that um which is you know that's fine um oh dear oh pfft. Cool. Evil Elemental. Um, but yeah, so this year um, we're going to um, instead, yeah, there'll be five of us, which is pretty cool. And um, as such, we each have, now, is this the door I want to go through? Door K? No. Oh, actually, there is a Horn of Life in here. I may as well grab it, yeah. Um, so as such, there are five of us. There is a Rock Gym Leader, a a uh, flying gym leader, a poison gym leader, a dark gym leader, and an electric gym leader, which is me. Um, and it's funnily enough, I am probably the most 
Like when it comes when we have to battle each other because we haven't done it yet. The gym leader that I am most worried about battling uh, is actually the flying gym leader because he's using a Gliscor and Gliscor is very annoying for uh, an electric type user uh, such as myself because I am the electric gym leader. And as such that I am the electric gym leader, um, I have I have to have a doubles and singles team. And my doubles team was sorted out quite a while ago. It's um, it's a team of a lot of Pokemon that I really, really like using. A lot of good um, electric types, I think, that work really well together. A lot of my uh, team is using... Oh, the mini ghost. Good o. That's one thing I forgot these guys can do. Um, but yeah. So, I've been, yeah, like, my electric, um, team basically is a lot of, uses Discharge to buff, um, each, like, to either buff or, um, heal each, um, uh, team member. So, like, I've got Volt Absorb Pokemon, um, Motor Drive Pokemon, and a Lightning Rod Pokemon in Togedemaru. But, um, the singles... Hello, this is your dad. It's been in there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business. Do you think I can take a break? No, thank you. Why? I haven't even been recording for two hours yet. Like, we're only, what, 15 minutes in? No, 21 minutes in. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a long episode. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, so one of the Pokemon that I really wanted to use on my singles team was Alolan Golem, because that is a very good rock electric type. And while it may be super duper weak to uh, ground, uh, it can hit really damn hard. Only problem is... Um, oh, that's right, yeah, um, it's possible for the guys using, um, PSI Fire to kill the, uh, the tiny ghost, that'd be nice, that'd be great, but, um, yeah, so, one of the things about using Alolan Golem, though, is that it is most useful when it is a galvanized Alolan Golem, which is a hidden ability, but the thing about Alolan Golem, or Alolan Geodudes, I should say, uh, they like to use self-destruct. And my friend Caleb can tell you that firsthand because he found a shiny golem one time that just blew up in his face. So, yeah. Geodudes really love to blow themselves up. So, I had to chain a bunch of Alolan Geodudes um, through the SOS feature so that I could finally get one with a hidden ability. But I also had to find a way to A, check its nature, and B, have a Pokemon with the nature of, um, sorry, check its ability, and also have a Pokemon with the ability of Damp so that it wouldn't blow up. So, I went into a Me Pokemon Omega Ruby to, uh, get a Paris with Damp, because Paris in that game can get Damp, and it also gets the move of Worry Seed, so that lets me, uh, check its nature by changing it to, uh, I believe it's Insomnia, which stops it from sleeping. So, I do that, that takes about maybe 10 minutes, uh, through De Dexnav, um, hunting, which is pretty easy. So, I get my damp, um, my damp Parasect, uh, get it with Warrior Seed, I also give it False Swipe, and I give it, um, Leech Life, because it's a physical attacker, and Leech Life is really good in Gen 7. I go to use Pokebank to transfer it up, and it tells me that Pokebank is under maintenance. And they're like, check the Nintendo website. I check Nintendo website. Pokebank, completely fine. They're saying there's no maintenance. I'm like, this doesn't seem right. So I I, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it for tonight. I'll check again in the morning. Check in the morning. Still under maintenance. I go through the entire day checking and checking and checking. Still under maintenance the entire time. It's only when I get, ho um, get home that night that it's finally like, oh, yeah, we're fixed maintenance. I'm like, oh, great, and I had work the next day, so I couldn't even grind out the, um, Alolan Geodude that day. So, yeah, uh, jump to about, jump to the next day after that, and what would have been three hours of grinding Alolan Geodudes later, I finally got my Galvanize, uh, Geodude, which is really good, and it's also, um, perfect, it's almost perfect IVs, and, uh, it's nature, See, its nature for a golem is what I think is pretty good. It's got Brave, which means it's negative speed up attack, which I know when you want to make a competitive Pokemon, you want it to be, you want to have some speed, but golem is pretty damn slow regardless. So I think that actually having a nature that buffs his attack and takes down his speed is not actually too bad. I, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the, um, in the comments of the Alolan uh, Golem. I personally think Brave is a fine nature, but you know, I can understand why you might want a, um, I believe, is it Adamant that ups um, attack and lowers special attack? I think it's Adamant. 
So I can understand why you'd want that instead because, um, well, I mean, it's never going to use a special attack, so lowering its special attack is not going to, it's not damning or anything like that. Uh, it's like if you had, it's like if you had any other physical attacker, you want, you don't need special attacks, so why bother giving it any IVs, EVs, or a nature that benefits it? Meh. Either way, I'm just glad that that's done now. I'm glad I have it, and I can finally use it for my single steam. So the only thing that's left to do on my single steam is transfer up a, um, Electivire from Pokemon Omega Ruby, which is perfectly trained to be a physical attacker, uh, which is why it's not on my, uh, doubles team, because my doubles team is a discharge using team, and I don't need this one to know discharge, this one we will be using wild charge instead. But yeah, that's basically the rundown of what I've been doing at the moment, and I've recently gotten back into playing, oh wow, one damage, oh dear. Um, I've recently gotten back into playing more of Breath of the Wild, because I still need to go through and play that game, because that game is so good, and also um, Ocarina of Time 3D, because I'm just on a bit of a Zelda binge at the moment actually, I suppose, but on that note, we have reached the final Your Sanctuary Location boss, and... We are going to be tackling him this episode. We are not going to make it into a two-parter. I'm sorry if this episode is running a bit long, but I really want to finish the Fire Spring in one episode. So, uh, let's check the goods real quick. Horn of Life. Yep. That looks all good. Yep. That's looking... Yeah, that's looking fine. All right. Let's do it. You finally got here. This is the eighth Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me. If. You. Dare. Introducing the Carbon Dog. This guy. Oh boy, this guy. Um, he can be pretty troublesome if you are not careful. Uh, obviously, judging by the look of him, he packs a hell of a big, um, well, he does a lot of fire damage. And he packs a mighty wallop. Um, he is weak to Flash and Freeze, so I'm at Flash Gamma and Freeze Omega. Uh, you can also use the Heavy Bazooka on him. The Heavy Bazooka is fine. Uh, just whatever you do, don't use the Multi-Bottle Rockets. If you kill the Carbon Dog with the Multi-Bottle Rockets, let's just say, just, I'm just gonna say, I'm not gonna spoil what happens if you do, but just don't. Because you will die. I'm not gonna tell you why you'll die, you just, you just will die. Um, I'm annoyed that that friggin' mini ghost is still hanging around, but you know what? We can... We'll, we'll be fine. Flash. Come and dog cannot stop crying. Yes! Alright, um... I could put up a shield, I suppose. Nah. Because, um... You know, we'll bash. We'll freeze. We'll use the heavy bazooka, and we'll bash some more. No damage. We some quite nice hand. Nice. Freeze Omega. 323 damage, nice. Alright. Oh, spray fire! <laughs> Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. That's fine. And tiny little ghost. Yes! He killed the tiny little ghost. Thank you! Um. Uh, nah, neither of them need healing just yet. I think they're okay. Let's just try bashing with everyone. Uh, except with Jeff, we'll use the heavy bazooka with him. Because actually, all of a sudden, the common, day common dog gave off a rainbow of colors. Urgh, ouch! All right, so yes, now it has the power shield, which means all um, physical attacks are going to be deflected back at the user. All right, actually, did it just shoot? Did it shoot just disappear? Is that what just happened? Huh. All right. Well, um, I think now that its shield has disappeared, you know what? I'm just going to keep using um, freeze gamma with Paula, but I'm going to use the neutralizer just to be sure, just to be a hundred percent sure, because I don't want to hit it thinking that its shield is gone, and then I just get whacked in the face with a crap ton of damage. So the two freezes are pretty good. Body solidified, yes. All right, cool, neutralizer. So that means it's, um, its shield should be well and truly just gone. Also, everyone's health is back. Um, I'm gonna try flash. Let's try flash Omega on it. Uh, PSI freeze Omega, the heavy bazooka, and freeze Gamma. Now, this guy does have quite a bit of health, so it may take you a while to, to knock him down, but once his shield's gone, he is not that big of a threat anymore. Like, you just see, I just did a full 330 damage to him. Ah, oh, it didn't work. All right. Um, you know what? Let's just try Flash again. Also, um, 
epilepsy warning, I suppose, because, yeah, Flash Omega is uh, quite an intense attack. I mean, a lot of attacks in this game are quite intense, but, yeah, that, that one's definitely one of the ones that are up there. Like, Rocket and Flash are two of the attacks that are really up there in, like, seizure warnings, because, man. All right, Flash again. Flash Omega. Didn't work. All right, I'm just going to stop doing that. Uh, Bash. Freeze Omega. Oh, not an FPP. Freeze Gamma, I suppose. Then fine. Uh, goods. Heavy Bazooka. Actually, you know what? Let's use the Super Bomb. Let's use the Super Bomb. And I can keep using Freeze Gamma. Cool. All right. This should, this should kill him this round. Super Bomb. Freeze Gamma. 38. Smash! Yes! There we go. You won. And you gain an absolute ton of experience for that. Yep, keep it coming, keep it coming, there we go. Alright, so, before we head into the final Your Sanctuary location, I'm gonna move some items around. Uh, we'll give the Casey Bat to Paula, I don't know, we don't need it. Uh, town map, we'll give that to Jeff, sure. Uh, we give the horn, we have two horns of life, we don't need either of them. So, we'll give them both to Pooh, I suppose. Uh, Horn of Life, give Pooh. And three bags of Dragonite. Yep, that's everything we need. So, let us head into the final Your Sanctuary location. And I will be quiet as we hear the melody for the last time. Yes, the final your sanctuary location is just one note. I should also point that out. Ness had the feeling that he was being watched by himself as a baby. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the fire spring. And there we go, we've recorded every melody. Let's hear it. Ness, hmm? I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness. He just smiled from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. <laughs> it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope King won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some steak. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker, just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm.
Welcome to the realm of magic hands. A place that we will be exploring on the next episode. See you guys then. Bye bye.